Spring is in the air. Wow. Yeah, I'm starting this video as we're headed out the door. Riley's already back from school. And Stacy's actually gonna get her hair cut today. During that time, Briley is gonna be going to be with Caitlin, and I am going to, uh, not sure what I'm gonna do, but I'll figure it out. Had a lot of videos in our car. Guess what? Here's another one starting in the car. <laughs> I wanna continue the Mall of America video today. This will be part five. And I know we're not in Mall of America anymore, but we have something to talk about that happened in the mall regarding Norton, Braley's service dog, and something that we Did experienced. You get your backpack? My backpack. Yeah, with all your stuff? Uh, no. Again, forgetting something. I'll talk to you about after we are done driving. Maybe talk about, well, we just have things to talk about, and it will happen after driving is completed. Bye, Braley. Time to go see Caitlin. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, bless, you. bless you. Kate's house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> see you later. All right. So Stacy is getting her hair cut. Braley's with Caitlin and I am just here. I have something to talk about today, as I said before, about Norton, Braley's service dog. And guess what? I have coffee. I'm David. So it's time for Coffee with David. That's exciting, right? I want to talk about Braley's service dog, Norton, and our experiences at Mall of America. I don't get mad often. There's not a lot that can really get me heated, but this really did. I'm going to tell you some stories about what happened at Mall of America. There was multiple instances of, uh, of negative things that happened regarding Norton in public. Nothing heated wrong. It was, it was all on other people. The first story I have to talk about is when me and Braley were on the carousel. So me and Braley were sitting on, sitting on the ride, uh, waiting for it to start. Stacy was watching us from the other side of the gate, which is pretty close to the ride, really. So she had Norton with her. Norton was laying at Stacy's legs between the gate and her, looking kind of behind Stacy. He was like laying diagonal, but paying attention to something that's happened behind Stacy. And I was like, huh, why is he looking so intently at something? So I look around, and what do you know? What do I see? I see a guy tapping on his leg trying to get Norton to go to him. He's literally calling a service dog. He's doing like the little the little kissing noises, you know, and like doing the like tapping his legs like he, he just kept doing it. I was about to go, hey! <laughs> you know, startle him. I should have. He ended up stopping about 15 seconds or so after I saw him. I was kind of in shock. I was like, is this guy really trying to call a service dog? Is he try what what was the purpose? Was he trying to see if he's doing his job correctly? Was he making sure he was trained? Was it what was the purpose? I don't know. I'll never know. That's it just blows my mind. I just don't understand. I need a coffee. That's just one of the stories, too, that happened at the Mall of America. It's just something I can't wrap my hand around, but, get, but I guess people do that. I guess there are, there are people out there that are um, looking for trouble, looking to cause chaos. Norton knows what he's doing. He did a great job, and he did not respond to this guy. He was definitely staring at him and distracted by him. He's probably like, why, why are you calling me? I don't work for you. <laughs> I don't know you. Even though Norton didn't go to the guy, even though he st Norton stood his ground, that does not make any of it right. Keep in mind that service dogs, they're dogs, and they do have dog tendencies. The energy, the energy used there to for that restraint could have taken out his energy needed elsewhere later in the night when Braley was having a meltdown. Just saying. That's story number one. Story number two, I don't, I don't know if it's worse. I don't know if it's equally as bad, but it's, it also got me a little heated. 
Yeah, this was day one. This is when we were headed out of the mall. I had to stop at Walgreens, which inside Walgreens is inside of the Mall of America. And I stopped there to get some things that we really needed for the night. I was in there checking out. It was a pretty long line. So I was checking out there and I really starting to get agitated with the weight in the line. And so I said, hey, you guys can go ahead and walk around. I'll just stand in line here and, or, or, and uh, get our stuff. And then so Stacy and Braley and Norton walk out of the store and I'm in line. I see Stacy, like it's all glass. The, the whole store's glass so I can see everything out there. I see Stacy, Braley, and Norton headed around the corner. Here I am in the store. Here the walls are. They're like at the corner going around. Terrible description, I know. Braley was really having a hard time. She ended up on the ground flailing and stuff and Stacy was on the ground with her with Norton. They were all on the ground. Stacy was trying to help out Braley while Norton was there with them. She was screaming pretty loud. Obvious distress. I was getting pretty close to being done anyway at that point. So Stacy, while trying to calm Braley, handling Norton at the same time, a guy walks up standing over them and says, Oh, that's a really nice dog. What kind of dog is he? While Braley's screaming on the ground, Stacy's on the ground with her. This guy tried to start a conversation in the middle of this about her service dog. I could give him a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he had a social disability himself. I don't know. Maybe it was just something that, oh, I can relate with someone that has a dog type thing. I'll give him a benefit of the doubt. But at the same time, that's rough. Seeing someone trying to carry on, like, start a conversation, distract her from Braley, even distract Norton. Guess what his next words were? This is where it gets a little bit too much. Can I pet your dog? That was what he asked while Braley was obviously having a really hard time and Stacy was trying to help her out. Even Norton too, because Norton does help out in these situations. As you've seen before, um, we have Braley interact with Norton in these situations because he tends to be a, a calming party for her. So I wasn't there because I was in line just watching what was happening. Stacy told me everything that this guy said. Stacy just kind of ignored him at that point and he walked away. I mean, what, what can you do? Stacy can't just be, uh, start like talking to this guy because she's trying to take care of Braley. Those are the two main instances I want to talk about. I mean, there's there's many others while we're at the mall, like uh, someone audibly barked at Norton. So many like, oh, look at the little pup. Oh, look at the puppy. Look at the dog. Puppy talk, dog talk toward Norton, toward our general facility, gen general vicinity, toward our general vicinity. Acknowledgement's fine. But these, any of these things that a dog responds to can be distracting for him. It just makes his job a lot harder. Norton did a fantastic job. He just moved right along from all these situations. But every single one of them is something that Norton has to, in his dog mind, consciously ignore. That's a lot of things to ignore, a lot of stress for him. All these things that are happening around him that can be exciting for him. Like people saying, oh, look at that sweet boy, aww. Dogs are like, ooh, attention. Yes, Norton is a trained service dog. He should and he does ignore all these things that are going on. But he's still a dog and he's still working. Every little distraction is more work that he has to do. Why do I bring all this up? These are important conversations to have. Our videos do reach a lot of people and there might be someone that it comes across that has done something like this in the past to when they see a service dog in public. Next time they see one, maybe they won't do that. We're in service dog groups on Facebook and stuff and we see all kinds of rough stories about uh, service dog interactions. The purpose of this is just to put more out there to hopefully make a change for somebody. Make it make a change a positive change for somebody that's coming across the service dog in public or even for the person that has the service dog in public. Something needs to change because that it happens so we've been in public a lot with Norton. But for some reason it was constant the two days that we we're at the Mall of America. Constant. We've been in the Mall of America before with Norton. It was never like this. I don't understand. Maybe we just had the crowd. I don't know. If you do ever come across a service dog in public, what do you do? Go about your normal lives. If you're shopping, continue shopping.
Service dogs do not need to be acknowledged. They don't need, uh, oh, you're doing such a good job. They don't need that. I think service dogs just need to be a little bit more normalized in society. The majority of the population doesn't get a lot of exposure to them. So, of course, it's going to be tough to resist saying, oh, look at that dog. Look at him. Aww. For those of you that have service dogs, I'm sure you understand. Feel free to share your service dog experiences in the comments of this video. L let's remind people that service dogs are not pets. They're there doing a specific job and they don't need to be distracted by anyone. And the more that you distract them, the, the harder it is for them to do their jobs. That's my rant for the day. That's my coffee with David rant. I'm not getting this video yet. We still have some of the day to go through. Uh, so stick around. Let me see that hair. <laughs> That's creepy. No. It's I in like the dark. It. It's very blonde. It's nice. I know. It feels nice. Is it so new? It's so new. Brand new. Yeah. See, look at that hair. You're so cute. No. <laughs> You're cute. We gotta get Target now and Braley. Ugh. Nice hair though. Hey, that's Bra that, Braley. That's Stacy's first haircut in how long? Two years. Two <laughs> years. That's a record for the family. I hit a year. A family Stacey, record. Yeah, family record. Yeah. Well, Braley has the family record. She did get a haircut like 18 months old, but she didn't have another one for at least two years. Because mm -hmm. her hair was down to like halfway down her back. Mm -hmm. She was that long, long hair. I cannot believe that her hair was that long. I know it's weird to see pictures of long hair now because she used to have long hair but she's had short hair for so long I forget you know that she used to have it maybe I'll find some pictures to post real quick okay let's yeah. go target first then Braley we just have pickup order easy peasy Fun? Did you have a good time? She didn't want to leave. She didn't want to leave? She kept going back to watch slime videos. <laughs> <laughs> we had a long night out. Partying. Well, uh, doing, the, uh, doing the hair situation. Uh, Alright, Braley. It's time to get ready for bed. First thing, we every time we get home, huh, Braley? <laughs> Gotta get some swinging in. Look at those balance skills. Woo! Woo! Our new, like, commonly asked question is where did we get this swing from? It's actually a camping chair mm -hmm. that swings. It's from Walmart. Just search Ozark swinging chair and it should come up. I've been thinking about getting one for myself for camping this summer because we're camping. We're going to at least get back to practice camping and camp in our backyard. It is bedtime. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm glad we had that talk earlier and I hope that it reaches the right people. And we'll see you in the next video.